I'm Karen Grete from Scandinavian Today. I recently received a request to make a very traditional Danish dish called Ølebrød, or it would be translated to rye bread porridge. And of course, I had it a lot when I was a child, and I like it. It's easy to make, and of course, it's actually a very, very traditional dish, hundreds of years old. And um, when my mom made it, she always used old dry rye bread for it. This way nothing was wasted. But uh, I'm just using fresh rye bread. <laughs> and uh, in Denmark you can buy, buy it in packages all ready to go. You know, and just mix it up with some water. But uh, I'm going to show you how I make it. It's so easy and fast to make. And I like it, so why not? So here we have the ingredients for my Danish traditional ølebrød, or in English it would be rye bread soup. And I'm going to use one and a third cup of non-alcoholic beer, about one and a half cup of water, and about uh, of the rye bread I have about 12 ounces. Then I have a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to use the peel of half a lemon, or you can use a stick of cinnamon if you prefer cinnamon. So it's up to you, or you can use both actually. I should mention that you can use either brown or white sugar, a quarter cup, and of course you decide what you want. I kind of prefer the brown sugar. So I am going to leave, uh, break the rye bread in small pieces and soak it in the water overnight. So that's the first step. And then tomorrow I can finish it. Okay, so here it goes in the water because it has to be all soft and dissolved. And here we have all the rye bread soaking in the water, and I can finish it tomorrow. And the rye bread absorbed all the water overnight, so now I pour it into my pot, and uh, I'll add the, I'm actually adding the brown sugar today. Like I mentioned earlier, you can use white or brown sugar. Also, we are going to add the beer, non-alcoholic beer I'm using. And then I'm going to mix it all up. Since it's going to be a soup, we don't want any lumps in it. So I added the lemon peel and now after 10 minutes I will taste it. And of course if you like to add more sugar or lemon peel it's up to you. And of course I shouldn't forget to add the cinnamon stick to the rye bread porridge. So this has been cooking for the 10 minutes and you can tell uh, it's all looks like it's all combined. Perfect maybe a little bit too thick so I will just add a little bit of water of course if you prefer add a little bit more beer of the non-alcoholic beer but you don't want it too thin either okay I think it's ready to be served and of course with my whipped cream which gives it a wonderful touch and as a topping for my rye bread porridge, I'm going to use whipped cream. You can also use just plain cream if you like that, but I definitely prefer, prefer the whipped cream. And I'm ready to serve ølebrød. So here we go. I need the topping, which is a nice big spoonful of whipped cream. And I like to, I already added some orange peel to the ølebrød, but I also like to sprinkle a little bit on top on the whipped cream because I think it gives it a nice touch. So, and I'm ready to eat my rye bread porridge.
Mm, it is good. I like it. Definitely. Mm. And I really like it with the whipped cream. It gives it a wonderful touch. Hopefully you will also try it and uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you never had it before, it, it's a little bit different. But if you like rye bread, I'm sure you would enjoy our Ullebrød. So I really appreciate your watching the video on me making rye bread uh, porridge or Ullebrød. And I hope you'll enjoy it just as much as I do. Skål and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Skål again.